right. Uh, you know, I had a bunch of in-studio audience and a bunch of crew here. They're like, who's Ben Shapiro? Well, he's an anointed neocon schnot nose who walks around making Richard Pearl type faces where he tries to act scary and powerful. He just recycles a bunch of libertarian conservative thought and a bunch of other think tank stuff. And I just noticed he's always criticizing me and always trying to keep people off my show while he makes little faces like this. I mean, these are the faces five-year-olds make when they're playing G.I. Joe. Number two, when you go on CNN, does that mean you agree with everything Wolf Blitzer has ever said? You and well, I that's what Mark Dice. That's what Mark Dice tweeted at him. Mark Dice tweeted at Shapiro and said, "You go on CNN. You go on NPR, buddy. They're gatekeepers. Plus, they lie about what I stand for." Now, here's what I want to say about Ben Shapiro. And Matt, one of the producers, pointed this out, and I actually knew this. I hadn't really said it because I haven't been focused on Glenn Beck. Why is Ben Shapiro so angry at me? Why is he always trying to put me down? Why is he always talking about how I'm so evil and sounding like some leftist and telling Candace Owens and Kanye West, don't come on his show? Why is he doing that? Well, because the folks that took over Glenn Beck's network about two years ago, these multinationalists, they are pushing Ben Shapiro to be the head of Glenn Beck's TV station and his radio shows, if, if, uh, if, if Glenn Beck completely retires due to his uh, issues. And so Ben Shapiro is going to take over, the word is, the failed Mercury Network. So that's what's happening. That's why YouTube and Google and all them still let him get promoted and don't censor him. And why he calls for our censorship is because, just like Glenn Beck, Ben Shapiro is a Judas goat to control the movement. A neocon. So there you go, that's why this is happening. He's super intellectual. He's super smart. He's your leader. He's the leader like Lynn Beck was. Here's the deal, Ben. I understand you're super intellectual and like no one knows who you are outside of Twitter and YouTube, but you think you're like God. And you don't think we don't see what's going on with Peterson and all the rest of it, kind of the leftist move into common sense. Well, you have one arm saying no family, no common sense. That's the vanguard of the left. And then you'll have the reasonable left in the middle to kind of control the debate, but kind of keep you an outpost. I, I get it all. I know why you and Peterson don't come on. I know you think like you're right, super Machiavelli and everything, and oh, you're gonna, you got investors, you know, that are that, from Israel, nothing against Israel, but that are buying up Glenn Beck and everything. You don't think I don't know about everything that happened with Glenn Beck and what was set up with Glenn Beck? How about I tell everything, Shapiro? How about I dump it all on air? Oh, I know you are so smart, Shapiro. You act so tough. Dude, they shouldn't come on your show because you're awful. Have I been unclear about this anyway? Oh, that's what he says. God Shapiro. Ben Shapiro crawls out from under his thought police rock. Shocking authoritarianism. And he's like, they shouldn't go on because you're awful. Wow. He's not on TV reading a script of what somebody else intellectually wrote to sound smart. When he actually tweets, it's like, you're awful, man. What, I'm a racist? What, I'm a homophobe? I'm a Russian spy. That's all leftist crap. Same deal. You're awful. No one should go on your show. You're awful. Well, if it's awful, leave. Oh, I know. All the Democrats are suing me. Soros is. All the rest of it. And you're there making sure. Uh, don't go to him. I'm in charge. I'm in Shapiro. I run things. Me. Uh, the amazing Shapiro. What a joke. I haven't set my guns on you yet because... Your lord and master, Beck, already sunk his ship, and you will sink your ship as well, young one. <laughs> no need to do that, baby Sith. Now, let's go back to Roger Stone. I know you got major stuff to talk about with Trump. I want you to... T He's still having Skype problems. He's on the road. But, I mean, these attacks on free speech, we'll get into Mueller and your, all your predictions coming true, but this is unbelievable. I'm awful. You're awful. No one should come on you. I tell people who go on. I am the boss. This leftist entitlement of this Glenn Beck uh, retread, the, the, the reboot of the failed Beck, uh, Judas Goat, attack the conservative movement, try to lead it into the pits, uh, is, 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 is now back uh, in the, uh, I guess in the form of the herpes of Glenn Beck. What is the herpes of Glenn Beck? In my view, it is Ben Shapiro. A fetid, scrofulous, diseased, uh, viral infection that continues to bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom. 
Ben Shapiro is the herpes on our ass. Uh, anything else you'd like to add to that? Well, Alex, don't mince words. Uh, look, I but he's so intellectual. Fun. He's so powerful. He said, "I'm awful, so people so people shouldn't come on." He said it. We should all. But what's crazy is everyone listens to the left and Shapiro when they do this. We all just bow down. Yes, our kids belong to you. Boys are out of Boy Scouts. No more father and mother. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever you say, Hillary. Whatever you say, Pelosi. Whatever you say, Shapiro. Yes, Mr. Shapiro. Uh, oh God, you're so manly. That face you make, you you scare me. God Almighty, you might tear my arm out of my socket. You might skull annihilate me. You're powerful. You've got the manhood I want, Shapiro. Sorry. Go ahead, Roger. Roger! Shapiro's too powerful! I love it when Roger does these shows from the road. He's got the worst Skype in the known galaxy. But if he was the amazing Shapiro, just get him on the phone. That's the rule. Five Skype drops, three really. We go to telephone. -o. The old telephone. And I love my crew. They're the best I've ever had. We have defaults. And when Skype drops, one, two, three, like strikes, a one, a strike, a two, a strike, a three, a Ben Shapiro, again, little vampire bat, lands on your nightstand, flies to the open window. You wake up, you see a little greedy vampire bat dragging its tiny proboscis on the ground between its little legs. You see it moving towards you. Having to remove the sheets from your lower extremities. Drooling, small teeth, forward, eyes gleaming. Don't say no to it. Give yourself to it. He's superior. Uh, 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 uh. He controls reality. He controls speech. Hail Sapiro. Hail it. You know, I'm beginning to realize instead of the Muslim call to prayer, we should have the call to Shapiro. Allah Muhammad Shapiro, you tell us who to interview, who to talk to. Oh, we love you. Candace Owens do not come on. He say so. And now he's backtracking like a rat when you turn on the lights at 2 a.m. to go get a glass of milk. And there's the rat up there eating the fruit out of the fruit bowl and the cheese. It's crapping all over your kitchen table. And it just scrabbles. But it. It, it slicks out in its own feces and kind of falls off and hits the ground. And by then, your foot goes right on it. And you're like, oh, I'm going to really have mercy on you. But you only break two of its legs politically, metaphysically. And then you step back. And it's scrabbling. You go, I'm not going to hurt you anymore. You look at your big old tabby cat and you say, Ace, get that rat. And that's what happens with our audience. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to make the wrong move, scumbag. Now you're in major target. Just like Beck. Submarine wolf packs prepare. Only service enough to get your torpedoes right into his guts. You go ahead and make your smarty pants faces all day, and you pray your buddies at Google, Facebook, and Twitter can ban us before I get my hands on you and the rest of you guys. So I got a file on all of you. I was already thinking I was ready to make your move, and I said, I think Shapiro will attack when we do this. You were, you were a side note, but I just metaphysically knew that if you surfaced, that was the sign of this jihad against you. So, prepare yourself, rodent creature. Most of my audience is like, who the hell's this? Yeah, he's not on 200 radio stations. He's on over two, no, it's 300 now, I'm sorry, TV and cable systems. I don't want a glamour channel like, I don't even give him advice. I don't want a glamour channel for 25 million. They tried to get me to buy Glenn Beck's channel three years ago, nincompoop, for 25 million a year. I said, no thanks. Those are worthless channels. I target the TV stations directly. You notice the cable companies want you to buy a channel or then they quote, have carriage rights and pay you money back and all this other crap. They don't want you targeting UHF, VHF and cable systems directly. Because that's where all the audience is on the lower cable dial, dumbass. But I know you're already heavily in negotiations for all this. So enjoy yourself. Plus, you're such a schmuck. You don't even take real advice when you get it because you're so smart. <laughs>